Five, four, three, two, one. Attacking no, our news not you. Not you. Thunderbirds, ah, go! And the question is not whether we will have another pandemic. We will have another pandemic. It's really a question of when and how bad. Coronavirus is a national emergency. Life-threatening for people of all ages everywhere in the UK. Is there a doctor in the house? Epidemics occur every year in every continent and they kill people. And since we're a lot more prosperous, I'm glad to say epidemics are much less likely, but they will still continue. When really serious pandemics happen, they slam into society with extraordinary force and speed. Let's say you take out 50% of all train drivers, all supermarket work, market workers, all nurses, everyone who mans the banks, and just think what that's going to do to our society. That is the reason why this is a really serious potential threat to the UK. My advice is definitely to give, give the evidence as the science uh, um, presents it. So um, I'm being, um, uh, I think it's the third slide of the definition of science, being challenging, being um, unafraid to speak truth to power, being prepared to give the unpopular view, because that's where the science comes from. It's absolutely part of this role. It's part of every chief scientific advisor's role. And actually, it's what the civil service, politicians and others value. So I think it's OK, and it's the right thing to do, to say to a policymaker, the levels of uncertainty are here are so broad, I cannot give you anything that is useful advice on the basis of current evidence. Listen to us. Right. 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 Right.